Hi everybody, Jonathan here with another Twin Motion 2022.2 video. Now today's extremely exciting, the new release just came out this week and there's some amazing new features that I want to cover in this next video. We've got loads of things that I've covered in some of my videos before, but I'm going to focus on one huge one, which is the HDRI backdrops and the ability to add those easily to your scene and do some absolutely beautiful renders, showing your project in contacts of various types. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. I will be looking at lots of the other features later in other ones, but if you haven't seen them already, check out my preview ones too. Thanks for watching everybody. And today is a very exciting day. We've got the new release of Twin Motion 2022.2. Now this is actually the final release and you can see I've opened up my grid house project sort of demonstration project and it's already looking pretty amazing. But there's some fantastic new features that I want to just focus on in the final release that really have caught my eye. So the very first one is if we go to our library, you can now see that there's a new section within the library as well as the Sketchfab, which we'll talk about again in a moment, called HDRI Environments. And it's absolutely fantastic to see that these have been added. So I've just clicked onto the Outdoor HDR Environments, and you can see, if I open up this panel here for a minute, there's an absolute ton of really high quality environments that you can access. Now, not all of these are available straight away, Okay, so if there is a particular one that you like, let's go for this one. You just click onto the download button. So to use the environment, all I need to do is basically drag and drop and release it into the project. Now you can see that it's actually kind of come into the project as it is, but everything looks very, very dark at the moment. Okay, now there's a good reason for that. Basically, we've got the intensity value down at zero. So all you need to do is start to slide this up. Let's go for say one. Okay, and you'll notice that the brighter you go, the brighter the environment will go. Okay, so the environment is actually providing some of the light. So let's just focus on this. Let's keep it quite low, about one brightness at the moment. You can also click on rotate. So you'll notice that the HDRI, let's go back a bit actually in my project, is rotating in the background. So isn't that fantastic? So you can kind of get a really nice sort of 360 degree view of this spherical HDRI in your project. At the moment we've got some smog on, so I can turn that on or off, that's useful. But most of the settings you're gonna see for the um, new HDRIs are in this more setting here. So as well as the ambient lighting, you can slide this up and down. Just kind of bring it down a bit actually. We've got the HDRI affecting the lighting. And that has a, a bit of a subtle difference. If we do want to click match sun, then what that means is um, as we rotate round, you get the sun direction coming from the HDRI. So this is a really nice uh, addition to the lighting. So look at that, it looks really, really, really realistic without me actually doing any path tracing or anything else, just by using the normal rendering mode. So really, really fantastic. And of course, when we're ready, if we do want to, we can click the path tracer on and just let that resolve. And wow, look at that amazing image. Um, and it's only taken just a few seconds to render. So I like to render in low settings when I'm working, really low settings actually, because it's really rapid. Um, when I want to, I can just click R to toggle the path tracing on and click R when I go back into working mode as well, just to kind of do the project work itself. So what we'll do, let's um, frame up uh, a nice view. You can see that was floating for some reason. Let's just pop that down onto the deck there. That looks like a really, really cool view. So let's go ahead and create uh, an image file. Now I've got loads of images I've created before. Let's go ahead and create a new one. So what I want to do here is show you uh, the different types of sky dome and the effect that the, this can have. So what we've got here under the skylight is the normal dynamic sky. So we go to location, and this is just the normal time of day, the dynamic sky, and also the weather as well. So if you go to the weather system, you can basically introduce uh, the rain, and uh, you can even go through to snow if you really wanted, and make it snow as well. So that's what the dynamic system does. It gives you dynamic weather and lighting as well. Let's go forward a bit to the next setting, which is the lighting. 
So now I'm going to go to the skylight and you can see immediately the difference between the dynamic lighting and the skylight. Finally, you can actually also bring in the backdrop HDRI. So with this, with the backdrop HDRI, yeah, we can do the rotation. So here's the rotation. The light is coming from that wonderful background. So if I, if I look around in my project, you can see it's a sort of spherical zone. Now it looks a bit silly with the snow on at the moment. So let's go back to my weather system, get it brightening up a bit. And it looks to me like you can actually play around with things like the height, can you see? So here I can actually just, there we go, there, that's it. Just drop it down so that it's actually below my ground. I'm really glad I found that setting now. So this looks really, really fantastic. Uh, now I can just rotate that day and that backdrop and get lovely, lovely lighting. Oh, look at that, it looks absolutely amazing. So just once again, let's just rotate that round. You get the lighting, you get the backdrop. And if we click the path tracer, there we go. We've got that very high quality image. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna basically duplicate the image. I'm gonna turn the path tracer off for a moment and I'm gonna swap out the background just so you can see the difference. So we'll go to lighting and go to backdrop. Let's choose a completely different environment. Let's drag this one down in. Just let that load into the dock down at the bottom for a moment. And you should expect to see a very different sort of lighting setup and scenario. Just let that load in. So again, look at that. We've got a completely different sort of backdrop now. More of a kind of like seaside uh, sort of backdrop there. And play around with that to my heart's content. So what I do, let's get round to uh, this bit of the project where the pool is. It's going to navigate round through here, just crash through there a bit. And what I really want to do is just rotate that round so we can kind of see that sea view from my lovely pool. Let's make the size a bit lower. Can you see how I can adjust this horizon line, which is very cool. And again, we can play around with the things like the projection. So there's loads of different settings that we can play around with to kind of get it looking just how we want it. Let's just drop that down a bit there. And when I click the path tracing, we've got that lovely HDRI sky dome in the background, plus all these gorgeous reflections in the project. And please do bear in mind, I'm only on very low settings. You know, if I crank it up to medium settings, um, it will take a bit longer to resolve, but you're going to get some really, really nice quality rendering and, and sort of shadows and things as well. So it's just taking a bit longer. Just let the denoiser kick in at the end. Wow, look at those absolutely lovely reflections and so on as well. So I'm gonna carry on working in low settings. I actually quite like the look of the low settings, to be honest. So I've been playing around a bit with these images and you can see that what I'm able to do here is basically just simply by going to my HDRI backdrop, completely change the look and the feel of my scene. So here is basically one image. Let's go back to the other one. Similar view, but just with a completely different backdrop. And once again, another view with a sort of cliff backdrop. So these are great. Um, the HDRIs are something that I'm really pleased to see in Twin Motion. I particularly like the fact it's just so easy to rotate them around and get that sort of search for that different view and just sort of get that nice backdrop you're looking for in your project. I love the way it affects the lighting as well, although that is an option. If you don't want it to, you can turn Map Sun off. And then basically, um, when you rotate, you won't be getting into the individual lighting, can you see? Uh, if you do then want to change the lighting itself, you go to location and do the time of day. So that's completely independent and you can obviously swing the north offset around as well. So you can either get the lighting from the HDRI or you can just do it manually with an override. So really, really nice little aspect to the new version of Twin Motion and a very, very welcome feature. And I think this will be something that's extremely popular. Do remember as well, when you click R, we can just go into the path trace mode and the images just look even more realistic and more nicely rendered. Um, it's just a bit hard to work in path trace mode. So just remember that wonderful shortcut R to go to normal working mode. And then when you get to that lovely view you're looking for, just click R again. Very straightforward. 
Well everybody, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, it's been such good fun to make. Now, you can see the image in the background is a 16K resolution image that I rendered as part of the video. So that's what I'll be covering in the next video. So please make sure you subscribe. We'll be looking at all the other features of Twinmotion 2022 shortly. Thanks for watching everybody and see you soon. Bye bye.